Hello. Hello. Yes, Mr. Muhammad, how are you? Hello. I hear you, Mr. Muhammad. Go ahead. You are live on air. What do you want to say? Yeah. Hello. Uh, hello. Can you hear me now? I hear you. Go ahead. Yeah. Hi, CP. How are you? I'm fine. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? Uh, you know, actually, I've been watching your videos for over two weeks. Hmm. And uh, I'm from originally, actually, from Pakistan. You're welcome. No problem. And uh, I never imagined the things I somehow accidentally, I ended up watching videos from Sammy Simone, uh, Shimon. Sam Shimon, my then friend, David. My friend, my Poole, friend. Go, go on directly uh, to the topic. I don't, I don't care you watch to who, uh, Sam Shamoon. There's many, you know, but what, what, what do you want to say to me? Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, uh, actually, I would like to ask a, a question, actually. What do you think about our topic? What do you think about what we show on the screen? As long as you, you want to... Yeah, I'm, so, okay. I'm actually, you know, I'm baffled to learn those things. Yeah. I never learned when um, being here because hmm. uh, no one ever discussed me. Hmm. And uh, I'm shocking. I'm checking the references, all those things that uh, I, I now I, 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 you know, I'm right now, I'm... I think that I've been I've been deceived for for years in my life, along with the uh, for all my life that uh, I'm now checking the references. I'm going through that uh, how I've been deceived when it's come to translation to how the Muslims are translating now. But you are a Muslim. And, uh, but you are a Muslim. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm I'm shocked those things that how how this is can be happen that I thought maybe uh, this is the truth. I'm following the Islam actually, and I never imagined. You know, but I don't know. I remember, like, always your text in the chat saying you want to call me as if you are like challenging me or something. So I'm not sure. Like, how when this is changed on you? Like, when you start uh, say, saying that there's uh, somebody lying to you? Because as you I know, remember, I, you were I, texting. I start saying watching. I, wanna... uh, I start watching your video about two weeks, uh, okay. and uh, I can tell within a week. I actually, figured it out. I, somehow, I it changed my mind. In the first week, I thought I have to call you and I have to challenge you to, hey, no. You are wrong, actually, but now I'm checking the references and I'm shocked. I'm going to the, all my alims and uh, all the people who know the uh, the Quran, actually. And uh, when I ask the question, they have no answer. They are fair to explain me that what's going on. And uh, I'm glad that my kids are uh, actually, uh, uh, they are uh, uh, understandable, actually. They are between 20 to 14 years old. And they are my wife. She can also understand English. And we are checking the answer. We shocked to see how Muhammad used to beat his wife. She and he has a sex slaves, and uh, uh, all the worst that yesterday one of the uh, one of the uh, Muslim call you and you when you showed him about uh, uh, he can have he can uh, nic uh, learn about nikah actually now uh, now my kids and my wife they know actually what does actually nikah mean uh, al nukah. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are shocked to learn those things that uh, no one ever taught to, and no one want to discuss. And uh, actually, because I'm, I was trying to call you about in the first week that to challenge you to correct you that me, I might know something. But now uh, I realize within the next week that I don't know anything about Islam. Exactly. I, and I, I don't know. That's why I'm about asking you because you keep text, text saying like you want to like you want to challenge me. You are wrong. So now I'm surprised that you are saying the opposite because a week ago you were, I see your text in the chat, and you were like challenging and you're wrong. Call me if you can. Do you know, like where? So now you 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 switch your mind and you find that this is true, right? We lost him. You know why we lost him? Because we did not say inshallah before we call. <laughs> Let us call him again. <laughs> yes, Muhammad. Hello? Yes, Muhammad. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, uh, so uh, uh, for in the beginning, I was just a straight denial, but you, whatever you were saying, actually. When I say, you know, this guy is talking exactly from the references why should i not just go and check the references right and when i went there and checked the references i was like baffled i was shocked 
oh my god no why i i, I don't know why they never discuss this type of thing maybe uh, the muslims are ashamed and within a two weeks i can tell my kids and my wife too we are so glad that uh, i found this channel and i was able to learn a lot of things uh, and now we are changing uh, we are trying to change that uh, uh, i know uh, uh, at this position we are from uh, uh, the country actually we cannot discuss these things very openly we can only raise a question but we cannot criticize openly and uh, i would just say thank you so much for uh, for your effort that what you are doing and uh, we are able to learn a lot of things about uh, so, Muhammad, Islam. Did you, did you decide, you said you and your family to leave Islam? Did you decide to leave Islam? Oh, we, we already left actually. You know, we, uh, uh, from the previous about two weeks, uh, within uh, two weeks, we decided that we are following a false religion and a false prophet. The prophet who is just greedy about women, sex, money, and... Uh, uh, and, and there's nothing actually to talk about uh, about uh, when you talk about the, the Kaaba and uh, I'm I'm shocked actually I'm definitely my wife and we three kids actually so we are total five now my brother is also watching your videos but he doesn't speak English well so he's I'm just trying to help him but uh, he's 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 a he's a hard headed but uh, I always uh, uh, try to find some truth and uh, I'm glad I was able to find some truth. And uh, uh, I, it, it's it's really hard to uh, to because uh, you know uh, we were always brainwashed to as uh, a Muslim from the childhood uh, that Jews are your enemy, they are worse. The Bible is changed, and uh, um, I th that's true. We never find any verse in the Quran that says that equal to the Jesus verse says, "Love your enemy, pray for them." In the Quran, you can find this type of verse that the show a love affection for the others. Uh, Quran is not near, not even close to those verses. We have a fabulous stories about uh, uh, about uh, Muhammad, uh, which is a false prophet. I have to admit now at this moment, who's a false prophet that if uh, that uh, you know the old lady uh, trashing, uh, throwing the garbage on the prophet, he's passing the street. Uh, and yeah, about Bilal, false, he used false to be stories. Stories. he used stories. to be abused by his honor, and uh, but we don't know exactly the whole story about what happened with Bilal. We uh, I never learned from from school actually when I was in, in in school actually, but now I'm learning from you actually, and uh, I was really shocked why I never learned from Muslims those things. You see, uh, uh, Muhammad, I I have a I think you know I have a degree in Islamic law, right? Yes. Okay. So, my degree never helped me to understand anything in this cult, because in Islamic school, what they say to you, the Prophet is amazing, Islam is wonderful, that's it. So you learn nothing from Muslims, because everybody's saying the same. Muhammad is the most amazing. Quran is perfect. So anything I learned, I did not learn because I graduated. And I have a degree in Islamic law and I can be a judge in, Islam, in, in Islamic court but because I work so hard reading studying researching this is my own work this is not a teacher teaching me so what we are doing here we are showing people what actually happened and took me a lot of a study a lot of work as you see here Bilal Bilal said to Abu Bakr if you have bought me for yourself, keep me for yourself. But if you have bought me for the sake of Allah, let me go for the sake of Allah. Muhammad died and Bilal is still a slave. He never freed him. They give us speeches about Bilal. Bilal, the first one who go for Adhan. Do you know that Muhammad, he never called for Adhan ever once? Never. Muhammad, the prophet of Allah, never said Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. Never. Why? Why? Because this is was the job of the slave. The white man Abu Bakr, the white one Omar, the, the, those Arab men, they are white. They are asleep and they are snoring, and the poor Bilal go to the top of the roof saying, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Muhammad never, and I change any Muslim to explain to me why Muhammad is a prophet of God, but yet he never called the call of God. Why he never go and do Adhan? And I'm talking specifically I about that. I, 
thought the same thing. I thought the same thing. And uh, I, I, I was, I'm, I'm really shocked. My wife, my kids, uh, and, uh, uh, that why he never called, why he's any other, uh, uh you know, ashabas, why they never uh, call for prayer early morning. Bilal, is, no, he ordered, Bilal, even the hadith says that Allah Prophet, he ordered Bilal to call for order. He did not say, Bilal, please go up to this roof. And, you know, Allah Prophet, he ordered Bilal. So Bilal is not given an honor to call for the adhan. He was ordered. As simple as that. You know, yeah. my friend uh, Muhammad, I'm really... Uh, I'm really happy that's you and your family and you said you are five of you you left Islam and a week ago you were like you want to challenge me you want to prove me wrong but I'm really happy uh, that you guys you you left Islam but what about Christianity uh, you, you know we are reading actually Bible I trying to understand actually and uh, to be honest before that we never thought about this way but since now we know how bad teaching of Islam is. And I also, last night I was watching, uh, you know, Ayan Hirsi's uh, uh, conversations. Who? Ayan Hirsi Ali. Yeah, I don't know who is that. I'm not sure. Uh, you know, uh, she's a, I think Somalian, uh, Muslim convert. Uh, she's a now atheist. And she about talk about uh, mm -hmm. Ayan Hirsi Ali. She, uh, so she, she, she talks about the mentality of the Islam from childhood to, Right. Uh, to the death, actually, the Islam focus only on the afterlife, but never focus on the real life that you have to excel yourself here too uh, to adjust with your society. Islam never try to assimilate, uh, and uh, those things I I never thought about before that. But now uh, I will say, you know, my whole family actually, we definitely we are out of Islam because it's not the religion that we. I expect that and the second thing i yesterday you when you were talking with the brother you showed about the privileges of islam uh, prophet actually right. so i uh, can you send me the the saudi arabia link uh, to my skype actually so which, which i can which go one? and check the the the, the privilege 13 about privileges he, of prophet yeah okay i will do that the one if, yeah, he, so, if you like a woman he have to take her Yes, He's and you can husband. send me the privileges link too, so I can go and check. Because mm -hmm. uh, I know uh, I can read Arabic, but I cannot understand actually. No problem. And because uh, 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 my first language is Urdu, then my second language is English, and I know a little bit Arabic, but I can translate easily. That's not a problem. So uh, I try to talk with the Alam about those privileges, and he was no, we don't want to talk with you. We don't want to talk with you about these things. And they're like running away. I say, you know, I'm talking, I'm asking a question about Islam. It's written in the books and you are straight denying what is the reason why you don't want to talk about those things. Well, they are very embarrassing. And if they want to talk about it, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, I mean, this topic you should hide. Otherwise people, they will know the truth and the truth will set you free. You see, we are not, I'm not like, I always, I say, like you as a Muslim from coming from a Muslim family, I always say to the Christians, love the Muslims, never hate them. Because as you see, here we go, uh, uh, Mr. Muhammad, um, uh, a week ago, he was angry from me. He want to prove me wrong. Christian prince is wrong. Maybe he's saying to himself, this guy is a liar. He is not being honest, etc." But then, you know, things will change because he saw that this is the truth. This is what's happening. This guy is he's not making things up. It's there, it's in front of me. And he is even showing the reference one by one in the screen. And then he went and he checked it out and it turned to be true. So what we will do? Uh, the only way is either I you know, go blind, I say, I did not see nothing, I did not hear anything, and Muhammad is still is a good guy for me, or I have to make a decision and I leave this cult. And here we go, glory to the Lord. We have Muhammad and his wife, Five of them. I don't know. The the, the rest are the rest are your kids, uh, Muhammad. The rest of the five. yeah, uh, fourteen, uh, seventeen, and twenty. That's wonderful. So you see, here we go. They are actually more lucky than you. They did not waste their time and their life when they get older. You know, praying to the to the false god, right? So yeah, I mean, my wife. She used to wear a veil actually, and now she's considering to take off so she can free 
feel free herself, actually. You see, man, the, the veil, Muhammad, is not what makes women decent. You know that, right? A woman, she can cheat on you if she wear a veil or not. Like, you know, uh, 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 if somebody, if actually the veil, by the way, can be a very great way to help somebody to cheat. Because, you, you know, with my respect to your family, I'm not talking about your family, but my wife, if I'm married, and she is wearing a veil, I can see her maybe walking with a guy, going in his car, I will not even know that this is her. Even there is two meters between me and her, correct? Yes. Because she is wearing a burqa. I cannot see her. I cannot recognize her. So this not the cloth will make a woman good or bad. Bad is bad and good is good. You know, everyone, I, he do I agree what with he you. believe. I always, I always say why uh, Takiya exists. Even the Jesus say, I already know the verse of Jesus. Uh, yes or yes or no, no. Because Christian in Pakistan, they don't uh, swear. Right. They don't swear. They say yes or no. Right. And uh, the early you were talking about the jealousy. A lot of uh, Christians, uh, because they lose their, uh, lose their uh, jobs, lose their house because of the jealousy, because the next neighbor, next door neighbor is Muslim. And he accused him that he uh, disrespect prophet. And they killed him, whole family killed him, whole village burned down uh, just for the one accused. It's not proven. It's yeah. not proven. It's a way to, and take, now, to take your neighbor. Now we're learning them. why blasphemy law exists because Islam cannot stand criticism. Exactly. Islam cannot stand criticism because everything is written in Islamic books. And if you raise a question, I was really sad about, a, a, I think last year, a professor killed by his student. He was a professor at university. He was Probably criticizing, not show the whole history, but the but the student who killed his professor actually he accused, he told the, the police actually that he was a disrespecting prophet. We don't know the whole history, but definitely maybe he was jealous of him and something that uh, he cannot bear. And uh, uh, there's a lot of shit in Pakistan. Uh, uh, people are very depressed over here, especially benign minorities. And uh, a child child marriages are happening. I always wonder why child marriage is happening. Why Muslims are killing Muslims? Why Shias are killing Sunnis? Why Sunnis are killing Shias? The reason because the Prophet teaching to kill hypocrite, follow the higher number, and uh, uh, kill the apostate. I I never imagine those things. I always say, Oh, Muhammad, very good, but I can tell he was not good at all. When I check the references, what kind of profit is this? All about sex, money, sex, money. Yeah. But what we've been teach that uh, he was a uh, prosecuted. But no, when I check the references through you and through David Wood, uh, Sam Shmoon, uh, Ayan Hirsi, they learn. Oh my God! Actually, it's the opposite. Well, my friend, I'm very happy for you. It's written I'm, I'm, in the uh, history. I'm just opening I'm, the website. I'm for so the, uh, Thank you so much yeah. for but, providing those references. But you know, my it's whole family. You know, it's in Arabic. We right? left, those references. Are we are studying. We are studying the Bible, oh. and uh, my brother, his family is also watching your videos, checking the references. We never had Sahih Bukhari. We never had uh, those uh, uh, hadith in our, our house. And now we have, we bought those books just to check the references to see that what we are missing about Islam. All right. Well, I just sent you the link about uh, Al Qurtubi, and this is from the official mm -hmm. government website of the Kingdom of uh, Saudi Arabia. This is the Ministry of Islam in Saudi Arabia. And you will see there, but as you know, this is in Arabic, so you have, I don't know if you know how to read Arabic, you have to use Google Translation in order to read it. All right. Uh, yeah, I can I can type to it because I know the all the yeah, I just I just send you the link exactly the one I was showing to the uh, the the Muslim who left Islam yesterday. I don't know if you were listening yesterday. Or if, yeah, I was listening. I was listening to him. Yeah, I know every person can be shocked besides the ignorant people who are completely denial that what yeah. prophet did. Well, I'm glad that's you know uh, people they uh, they want to challenge me, they want to prove me wrong, and they call me and then they leave us now. What do you want more? I mean, this is wonderful. God is good, my friend, and the truth will set you free. We are not you are not leaving because of a Christian prince. You are leaving because Islam is bad. As simple as that. Right. I totally agree with you. All right. Well, if I, someone else had told me 
about Islam, I would have left maybe a years ago. I and I, I will, I've been deceived by this religion for years and years and years. Well, deception and, is uh, over, and now we have the truth, my friend. And that's why I'm here. I spend my time. You see, sitting here is really is not really. It doesn't make my made day good because I get angry, I get upset. I mean, people they say stupid things sometimes. I mean, you know, it's it's, it's a headache. But my pleasure is to see people leave in this cult. And my pleasure became so beautiful, I was so nice. I forgot all the things I did when I see somebody accepting Christ as a, as a savior. So I hope soon I will hear from you, uh, Muhammad, you and your family, that you decide to accept Jesus as your Lord, and you feel free to call me if you decide to announce yourself, yourself, like yourself to be as a Christian, or if you have a question about the Bible, I will be happy to help you if I can, uh, you know, as, uh, as uh, in the best I can, you know. I only have the problem with the Trinity, but I watched your video yesterday. Right. And it little bit explained to me actually that how can I believe actually it's in the Quran. Trinity is in the Quran. You were just talking about actually. Well, uh, the Trinity in the Quran is about like the Muslim, they say that how, how, how someone can be one and yet he's three, right? So the yeah. Quran, I use, I use the verse from the Quran to explain how somebody can be three in the same time he is one. But the Quran always Trinity is wrong. Everything in the Quran is wrong. But the Quran, one of this contradiction, it says that uh, Trinity is wrong. Actually, in the same verse, the same verse, Allah, he says the Trinity is wrong. It's the same verse. It says that there's a Trinity because he in the same verse, chapter four, verse 171, says that Jesus, the, the Messiah, he is a three in one. So how you say, say no Trinity, but yet in the same verse, you say, Jesus is a three in one. And the verse in the front of everybody, this is a Muslim translation, not my translation. Jesus in the Quran, chapter 4, verse 171, it says, Hey Christians, don't commit executing religion. Here, say no Trinity. Don't say Trinity. There's no Trinity. But look what he said. Christ, Isa, the son of Mary, was a man. So he's a man. And he is the word of God. This is two. And he is spirit proceeding from him. Look how he is one, yet he's a three. He is the word. He is the man. He is the spirit. All of this is Jesus. Yet the Muslims, they want to debate us that it's impossible to be three in one. <laughs> I'm shocked. I'm shocked when I read those references. And I remove those deceiving brackets from the translation. All the, all the, you know, actually, all the translation is deceiving anyway. But uh, we use their deceiving translation to get them busted. Even with deceiving translation, we are winners. You know? Yeah, even um, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. Uh, and like you, when you were saying yesterday, even uh, if, if, if even the scholars are bragging about how good the Islam is trying to defend in their ahadis and tafsirs, uh, what was in reality? I, I can't imagine. Yeah. I can't imagine how this prophet, fake prophet, uh, I I have no shame to add, fake prophet was trying to what he, what he what he did in the past, in the seventh century. Yeah, well, uh, and Muhammad, uh, I also learn about it uh, because now I start to learn a history of hadiths and uh, tafsirs and your videos, David Wood videos, and Bill Warner's actually. I learned actually the you know the crusades. The crusade happened because of Islam, not because of uh, they were fighting with each other. You know, Muhammad, I you know I'm really happy that you called me, but I hope that soon you will accept the Messiah, because let me tell you something. Today, me and you are going to sleep. There is no guarantee that neither me or you will wake up in the morning. Nobody knows, right? Yes, and salvation is not something to joke around. As long as you made a decision that Islam is not, there's no salvation from the skull. There's only hell. And as long you are, you said you start you and your wife and your family reading the Bible. I pray that you will come to a conclusion, because I want you to be convinced. I want you to be a true believer. We don't believe in someone saying shahada as Muslims. We don't believe in that. You have to believe in your heart. In Christianity so you have to believe in Christ from your heart but I advise you not to waste time not to waste time 
do what you need to do study what you need to study but you have to make decision because time is not something we own we don't own it we are in a process machine it's called time yesterday I was a kid today I'm a man tomorrow I will be old the day after I'm dead and maybe many of us they die even in a very young age even some they die in as a child age so your soul will be taken from you and you have to make a decision where you want to be and what you believe either you want to be an atheist who don't believe in any God or you believe in God and you have to choose who is your God and I think from what I heard from you you still believe in God correct yes okay so and Christ is a very uh, possible uh, 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 like for you to believe in him because obviously I think I cannot find better name than his name to follow or to to to, to accept so you need to come to a conclusion if you cannot say now I accept the Messiah as Savior I will be happy to hear from you soon you and your family you can call me and if you have a question about the Bible I will be happy to help you but don't wait for long because no it's not gonna be yeah it's not I, if I can decide to leave this cult I have to add this cult sorry uh, it, it's really hard to say this word I have to leave this cult within two weeks and uh, we are just reading Bible, whole family, and trying to understand, and also uh, checking the uh, references. And uh, I have to add also that Google, peace be upon him. I heard a lot of time from you, yeah. and that's it. Yeah, that's it. Google, peace be upon, is better than the Prophet of Islam, actually, who taught us nothing but Google, peace be upon him, taught so many things that uh, helped me out to find the truth. Actually, that uh, Islam is a completely definitely a cult all right well thank you uh thank you muhammad for calling i'm happy that you left islam you and your family five people left islam today as we heard and that's wonderful and i will be happy to hear from you again that you accepted christ very soon yeah, I will, when you I, do, if i need any, any question any references i can i can text you yeah or Skype, right yeah i have yes sure you can you can call me you no problem you can okay thank yeah, you yeah thank you thank you muhammad all right god bless you and your family you. all right uh yeah. We pray, we pray that Muhammad and his family, five members, and I think he said there's one more. I think, I don't know his dad, or he is in the house too. He don't speak English. He is explaining to him. So five of them, they left Islam already. And we pray that soon they will accept the Messiah as their Lord, as their Savior. To the Lord we pray. Please put this gentleman in your prayer, and let us hope that he will come to the Messiah.